Mycology is the study of fungi. All aspects of fungi, biology, chemical composition, economic importance, etc. The scope of mycology. Mycology is the branch of biology concerned with the study of fungi, including their genetic and biochemical properties, their taxonomy and their use to humans as a source for tinder, traditional medicine, food and entheogen, as well as their dangers such as toxicity or infections. Mycology branches into the field of phytopathology, the study of plant diseases, and the two disciplines remain closely related because the vast majority of plant pathogens are fungi. The general characteristics of fungi Some of the characteristics of uh, fungi include 1. They are eukaryotic organisms. There are two different types of organisms, the eukaryotes and the prokaryotes. The eukaryotes are more advanced than the prokaryotes. So fungi belong to eukaryotic group. Two, they usually grow as hyphae or as yeast. The hyphae existing, exhibiting apical growth. Three, you know, okay, for number two, you know what apical growth means. They grow at the tips of their uh, cells, of their hyphae, at the tips, where you have somatic body, the hypha body. Growth and mitotic division takes place at the tip. As apical, the apex of the cell. Apical growth. Three, they have rigid cell walls, many of which contain chitin, not cellulose, cellulose. So cellulose, but chitin. Four, they are heterotrophic, that means they cannot produce their own food, they depend on already made food. Five, they absorb nutrients through their walls and secrete extracellular enzymes to degrade polymers that cannot be absorbed. Six, they produce pores by means of sexual and asexual reproduction. Describe the general morphology of fungi. Fungi is a Latin name for mushrooms and the Greek name for mykis. There are two, three basic forms morphology of fungi. The the somatic body of fungi is known as mycelia. The hyphae develops into mycelia through network. And those three basic forms are the hypha form, the yeast form, and the cutridaceous form. I said the somatic body of the fungus is the hyphae. So the spore will germinate into hyphae. The hyphae will go into a network and produce mycelia. And these spores may be produced by sexual or asexual reproduction. So the germ tube of the germinating spore elongates into a hyphae, which grows a tip, you know, the cells near the tip. Hyphae of lower fungi like water molds, oh my cetis, are broader, non-septic, multicellular, and septic.
in vegetative stage. Sinocytic means septic also. In contrast, hyphae of higher fungi, for example, Ascomycetes, Basidomycetes, are less broad. They are less broad. That is, they are septic, that they contain cell uh, cross walls, and, con and generally one or two nuclear pay cell. They are nu uh, multinucleated. Scleritia is maybe round. For example, the sclerotin rowolfi, or it may be elongated, clavicet purpurae, example. And then in some fungi, the high fat tissue may form an elongated branch root like structure known as rhizomorph, which I've shown before, typically in a mushroom called Amelaria amia, melia. Amelaria melia. And then the hyphal tissues are complex and are found in this higher fungi. Some morphological features are the picture I've sent. Okay, I will send you this other picture, even though when you get the notes, you will see it. So be good. Um, I would like to describe the hyphal form of fungi. The hyphae, the hy a, a hypha, which is singular, hyphae plural. The hypha is a tubular structure containing protoplasm, which is bound by the cell wall. The hypha is eliminated by cross wall known as septa. The perforated septa facilitates the free movement of protoplasm from one fungal cell to another and throughout the hypha stand. Within the population, protoplasm one or more nuclei may be found. That is the protoplasm with one or more nuclei may be found. There are also vesicles in the extreme tips of the hyphae and along with the nuclei membrane with bound vacuoles. That is nuclear membrane, the nuclei, uh, nucleic membrane, and bound, uh, uh, nucleic membrane bound vacuoles. The vacuoles enlarge with maturity of the hyphae, untimely resulting in resting spore or uh, other type of spores. Often, the hyphae fuse or uh, what you call anastomos by mating process. And the nucleic acid and cytoplasm between the two hyphae are exchanged. When two genetically different hyphae come together, it leads to hybridization. The fungal cell wall determines the shape of the mass of the cell. It acts as an interface between the protoplast and the substratum. Substratum, that is the point of attachment to the, uh, the, the substratum, that's the substrate where the fungus is attached to. It also protects the cell as a whole as a whole from osmotic pressure but remains permeable to nutrients and gaseous elements. The chemical composition of the cell wall differs in different groups of fungi. While chitin is present in most fungi, cellulose is present in phytophthora but absent in most others. The quantity and quality of cell wall composition components such as chitin, manos, glucose, protein, phosphate, etc. vary with age and the stage of life cycle of the fungi maturity.